What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video I'm going to run through exactly what target impression share is and how it works. So we're in our demo campaign here for, um, I think it's like mobile windshield repair or something like that. So let's say you want to run target impression share. First, what the hell is impression share? So if you come over to the tab impression share, it's going to give you the definition right here. Search impression share is the impressions you received on the search network divided by the estimated number of impressions you were eligible to receive. So basically all it means is, it's a percentage, right? So out of 100%, let's say our search impression share is 50%. So that means half of the time our ads are showing for all of our eligible keywords because we have a 50% impression share, usually because we're not bidding high enough in winning auctions. So ideally you wanna be as close to as 100% as possible. Now, although it, it is hard to, to get to 100% and there's a lot that goes into that, but that's for another video, but just to give you an idea of what impression share is. So let's say we have a 50% impression share out of every 100 clicks for all of our keywords, our ads are going to be served 50 times. Okay, so it goes, you know, if it was 70%, it would be 70 times out of 100. And, and that's how it works. So this bid strategy, basically, you're telling Google, hey, you know, I don't, I want you to auto bid for me. And I want to attain a, and you set the impression share, say 90%, 100%. 95%, whatever that is. So to set that up is really simple. You would just come over into your campaign, go, in, you know, go into your ad groups over here. Well, that's what you're looking at actually is ad groups. So come into your campaign, come down to settings and come over to bidding. And it's gonna give you a few different options here. And you're gonna come down to the automated bid strategies, target impression share. And now you have a few options here when setting this up, okay? So this is really, really important. So listen carefully because you can get really screwed by Google if you don't set this up correctly. If you don't set a maximum CPC bid limit, you Google is going to bid whatever they want. It could be $100 for a click that would normally cost you 30 So it's really important that you put a leash on them and put a maximum cost per click limit. So I'm in the mobile windshield repair for this campaign. The average, the average first page top of top of bid keyword click is like I think like 35 bucks. So I'll just go a little high and I'll say, all right, Google, your limit is 45 dollars. I do not want you bidding more than that. And then you'll obviously have to assess your data, let it run for a few days. And if your impression share is not hitting what you set it at, it's probably because it Google's algorithm bidding algorithm is being choked by your max CPC. If that's the case, you'll have to come back in here and lift it. But I'll go over that again in the in the later in the video. So. Pay attention to this right now because this is really important. So where do you want your ads to appear? So this is probably the most important thing that people screw up with this bidding strategy. Anywhere on the results page, all right? So this is not a good choice because this means you're telling Google, I don't care. I just want my 90% impression share even if I get it on the bottom of the page because they're including bottom of the page ads for anywhere in the results page. Top of the results page, obviously self-explanatory. It's the top four ads in the top above organic. That's where you want to be. And then they obviously have absolute top, which is like the first one or two ad spots right above organic. Uh, it can be overkill to do that and really expensive. So I would start with top of results page first. And then once you have that chose, you come down here and you do uh, you uh, enter the percent impression share you want to get. So let's say you want to do you want to go for 90% impression share in your market. That's what you're going to go for. Then you're going to come down here. And you're gonna you're gonna set your max CPC limit, which I think we said was what 45 bucks, something like that. Then you would just hit save. So now that's it. You're set up to do target impression share. You're letting Google out, letting Google's algorithm do all of your bidding for you. You have no control over the bidding except for the max cost per click. You told Google you do not want to spend over per click. So that's pretty much it. Really simple, really self-explanatory. This can work really well in smaller markets. Um, we use it in the cash for houses market in, in very small cities. And it does pretty well. Uh, it's not always going to get you exactly what you set it at. So if I set it at 90% here, it could come close, like 85, 88, depends. And it also depends. You have to, like I said, you have to set it, let it run, seven days, come back, assess all of your data from the week, and be like, okay, so if I set it at 90 and I'm only getting 72, 73%, there's an issue. The issue is most likely because you're capped and you're not letting Google bid higher to get you with that higher impression share. So that would be the issue. So then I would come back in here and just move it up five bucks let it run or 10 bucks, move it up 10 bucks, then come back in a week and uh, assess again and see how close we are to it. So that that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about target impression share, drop them in the comment section below in this video. Besides that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and also check out the description of this video. I'm going to put a, uh, a link to our free ebook, which is called five hacks to increase your AdWords ROI. I think you guys will dig it.